Welcome to the Shape Challenge 2 for Rapid Inch Reduction. Due to the enormous success of the Shape Challenge, we brought out a completely new program. A unique low-fat diet that works by counting fat units and an exciting new workout designed to burn fat and tighten and tone those difficult areas. Now, let's take a closer look at our slimmers. Karen is 34. She's 5 feet 7 and a half inches tall, weighs 11 stone 5 pounds, and wears a size 16. Her bust measures 40 inches, her waist 34 inches, and her hips 40 inches. Karen has five children and very little time to exercise. Consequently, she's gained weight. She's determined to get back into shape, which is good, because we not only have to build up her fitness level, but also work on her coordination, rhythm, and quality of movement. Karen's desired weight is nine stone seven pounds, and she'd really like to wear a size 12. Wendy, on the other hand, has good coordination, but she hasn't recently exercised on a regular basis. Combining this with her nibbling habits, her weight has slowly crept up. Wendy is 28 years old. She's 5 foot 5 inches tall, weighs 10 stone 2 pounds, and wears a size 14. Her bust measures 37 inches, her waist 31 inches, and her hips 38 and a half inches. Wendy's desired weight is 8 stone 7 pounds, and she'd love to wear a size 10. The Shape Challenge 2 will not only shed those extra inches and improve your body shape to give you a smaller dress size, it will also introduce you to a healthy eating plan, improve your health and fitness, and help you to maintain your new figure. The low-fat diet plan enclosed with the video is tried and tested to make you slim and healthy without leaving you hungry and irritable. All foods are made up of three basic units, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The energy we get from food is called calories. So, foods which contain lots of fat, and therefore calories, are a dieter's worst enemy. This low-fat diet, combined with the workout, will produce a steady, safe weight loss for a slimmer, fitter you. The new workout consists of four individual sections. Section one is the warm-up, and your preparation for the harder work to follow. This will mobilize the joints, Raise the pulse and gently stretch the muscles. It'll also prepare you mentally to help you cope with the coordination and rhythm. You must always warm up first to help prevent any soreness and injury. Section 2, the fat burner, consists of four low impact aerobic levels including range of movement stretching. We start at level A and go through to levels B, C and D. If you're a beginner or out of condition, it's important to build up your aerobic capacity gradually by attempting one level at a time. We suggest you start with just the footwork and slowly introduce the arm movements. This will help you master the coordination and increase the intensity of your workout. When you're fully coordinated and comfortable with level A, move on to level B and so on. Build up slowly to the full 30 minutes. Section 3, the Titan and Tone, is vital for a full balanced program. It'll redefine your body, giving you that sleek sculpted look and will improve the strength and endurance of all the major muscle groups. Titan and Tone is in three parts. The first, bust, arms and upper back, may be performed with or without weights. Beginners should try this section several times without weights and practice the correct technique. When you're familiar with the routine, you can add light hand weights from one to three pounds, depending on your fitness level. As an added alternative, we will also be including some complementary leg work in this section. The second part is for the tum, waist, and lower back. When working the abdominals, it's also important to strengthen the opposing muscles of the lower back. This will help maintain a good posture. The last part, bottom hips and thighs, includes exercises to trim the buttocks and the inner and outer thighs. We will be offering easier alternatives throughout the whole of the Titan and Tone section. Section four, the stretch and cool down, will increase your flexibility, help you to relax and prevent any soreness and injury. Stretching is a must after your workout. For optimal fat burning results, we recommend that you do the whole program three or four times a week. 
During the aerobic section, it's important to monitor your intensity to see if you're working too hard or not hard enough. As a guideline, you should be able to speak comfortably, but if you're tired or out of breath, you must slow down, drop your arms, and march gently until you feel ready to join in again. Make sure you've read the booklet and are familiar with the heart rate check. To take your pulse, place the tips of two fingers on your wrist, just below the thumb, and press down lightly. Or take two fingers, not your thumb, and put them in the middle of your neck, moving an inch to the side where you feel a slight indentation. Once you feel your pulse, count the number of beats in six seconds and multiply by ten. This gives you the number of beats per minute. Now check the chart. Beginners should work between 60 to 70% of their maximum heart rate and more advanced students at 70 to 80%. Find your age and check your heart rate is within your target zone. We'll be checking your heart rate twice during this section. The recovery heart rate should be approximately 10% less than before. So there you are, a fabulous new workout to complement the unique diet plan. Are you ready for the shape challenge too? Yay! Wendy and Karen have followed the exercise and diet plan for the last 10 weeks. They've had their ups and their downs and it really has been a challenge for them. Did they achieve their goals? Let's see how they've done. Karen has lost one stone 10 pounds in 10 weeks and now weighs 9 stone 9 pounds. She now wears a size 12, having lost 6.5 inches from her waist, 5 inches from her hips, and 2.5 and inches from each thigh. Wendy has lost 1 stone 9 pounds in 10 weeks and now weighs 8 stone 7 pounds. She now wears a size 10, having lost 6 inches from her waist, five and a half inches from her hips and three inches from each thigh. Isn't it great? They look wonderful, don't they? It's been well worth the effort and you can achieve your goal too. Let's start right now. Clear yourselves a space, check that you're wearing supportive trainers and comfortable clothing and have a towel and a glass of water handy. We're ready to work out. The most important point throughout the class is correct posture. Take your feet slightly wider than hip width apart, knees relaxed, abdominals tight, buttocks tucked under. Shoulders should be back and down and head should be neutral. We're going to start the warm up with single arm raises and deep breathing. Here we go. Breathe in and out. Good. Again, breathe in and out. Both together, breathe in and out. One small breathe in. Let's try that again, single arm up, turn the head to the side, again lift up, turn the head, both arms together, plie, again breathe in, single shoulders forward, forward, forward and back, and back again, forward, forward and back, full arm circle, plie, back straight, knees in line with ankle, two more, good, pull up, Shoulders forward again, good, and back, and back, forward, forward, back, full arm circle, plie, two more, march and tap in place, and tap, good, march and tap, we're going to be using this step as a link step throughout the workout, two more, Ready to step, touch, side to side. Bend the knees, pull up, four more. Double step, touch, here we go. We're going to add an arm line. Take one arm out to the side, push it away. Out and front, out and front. Again, out and front, out. Both arms together, same pattern. Front, out, front, out, front. Good. Last time, single arm, take it out and across. Push. Out and across. Push. Again. Both arms together. Out. Push them both across. Out. Across. Good. Two more. 
March and tap. In place. Two more. Now march to me. Come on, to me. And tap and back. And tap. Two more. Step touch. Bend the knees. Three more. Hold it there. Change direction. Hip thrust. Good. Three more. Two more. Hold it there. Change. And again. Good. Use those hips. Three more. Two more. Back to centre. Add the arms. Good. And hip swings. Good. Step touch. Add bicep curls. Seven, six, five, four more. Ready to transfer, here we go. Down and up. Pull up. Abs nice and tight. Hamstring curls. Ankle to butter. Lift, lift. Good, four more. Step, tap across. Step and tap. Tap the foot across. Lift the knee. Good, four more. Back straight, two more. Transfer for four, three, two. Hamstring curls, upright row. Good. A step tap across at the arm line. Good. Push down, pull up. A march and tap in place. Good. One more in place. March it forward. March it out in place for eight, seven, six, five, four more. Rise up for four, three, two, again, eight, seven, six, five, four more. Rise up for four, three, two, march in place for four, three, two, one, rise up for two. arms. Good. Two more. Ready to transfer again. Here we go for four. Three, two. Hamstring curls. Upright row. Step tap across. Good. March it out. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five. Four more. Rise up for four. Side stretch, take it over and pull. Support yourself. 
yourself on the cart. Plie again. Two more. Good. Reach up now. And up. Take them to the side. Good. Plie. Clasp the hands in front. Round the shoulders. Push away. Stretching through to the upper back. Reach up. Two. Three. Take it over to the side. Last time, plie, clasp the hands behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull up, reach up last time and up, out of the waist, good, over, pull, march and tap for four, in place, three, two, ready to lunge to the back, here we go, lunge, two more, Change feet, press the heel down, feet parallel, lean forward, bend the front leg, back leg straight, stretching through the calf, arms down, rise up and pull, up, last time, now lift the heel up, tilt the hip, add the arms, stretching through the hip flexors, good, transfer the weight from hamstring stretch, flex the front foot, straighten the leg, Support yourself, abs tight, push the buttocks away at the back. Track round the back and release. Head in line with your back. Now roll all the way through. Good, march it out. Ready to lunge again, here we go. For four, for three, two, one. Change feet, hold it there, heel down. Feet parallel, hips are square, stretching through the calf. Arms down, ready to rise up, heel press, down. Good. Two more. Lift the heel up, tilt the hip, add the arms, up and pull. Up and pull. Hamstring stretch, transfer the weight, lean forward, upper body is erect, back is straight, stretching down the back of the leg. Now contract, round the back. And release. Contract and release. Roll all the way up. And march it out. Good. All right, get your balance. Quad stretch, arm up. Put the ankle to buttock. Pull the ankle back towards the buttocks. Press the pelvis forward, knees soft. Change legs, get your balance. Put the other ankle. Pull it back towards the buttocks, stretching through the quads. And march it out. Last stretch coming up, tricep stretch. Place the hand between the shoulder blades, pull back on the upper arm. And change. And arms down. Well done. Now we're ready for the fat burner. Before we start level A, remember, listen to your body and be sensible. If you're a beginner or out of condition, start with just the footwork and gradually introduce the easier arm movements. If you get tired or out of breath, drop your arms and march gently until you feel ready to join in again. And if you can't go on, wind forward to the range of movement stretches at the end of level D and continue with tighten and tone. Throughout the fat burner, both Karen and Wendy will be demonstrating the easier arm movements and I'll be doing the more advanced variation. Are you ready? Let's march it out in place. Pull up, nice and easy. Breathing. Two more sets of eight. Come on now, use those arms. One more set. March and tap. March, two, three, and tap. Good, keep it going. Four more sets in place. Two more. We're going to start with grapevine. To the left. Here we go. Circle the arms. Circle. Good. Two more. Hamstring curls. For four. Three. Two. Knee lifts. For four. Three. Two. Circle the arms. Grapevine. Good. Two more. Hamstring curls. For four. Three. Two. Knee lifts. Try that one more time. Great line. Two more. Hamstring curls. Knee lifts. March.
archers have in place. Two more. March and tap, come forward. March to me and tap, hand back. Good. New step, march forward for four. Rise up for two, arm shoulder height and back. Good. Let's try that again. Rise up and back. Ready to lunge to the left. Four, three, two, and change. Four, three, two, singles. Pull up, abs nice and tight, soft knees. And lunge for four, three, two, other side. Four, three, two, singles. Let's add an arm. Upright row, hands to shoulder height. March and tap. Two more sets, we're going to join those two sections together. March it forward, rise up, and back. Rise up, again, forward, rise up, again, back. Lunge to the left, four, three, two, and change. Good. Singles up, right row. Four more. March and tap. Two more in place. Pull up. March it forward to me. Good. And tap. And back. Two more. Ready to go back to the top. Great, Vine. Here we go. Circle the arms. Two more. Hamstring curls. Good. Four. Three. Two. Knee lifts. Four. Three. Two. March it forward. Rise up, arms higher. Good. Back. Again, forward. Rise up. Lower with control. Lunge for four, three, two, and change. Four, three, two, singles. Upright row. Keep breathing. Good. March and tap. Two more. Slow tap across. Step, tap, step and tap. Just knee a bit higher, back straight. Now let's add an arm. Down. Good. Two more. Double squat to the left. Here we go. Squat. Lunge. Again, squat. Lunge. Let's do it again. Squat. Lunge. Last time, squat. March and tap. Good. Two more in place. Keep breathing. March it forward to me. And back. Again. We're going back to the top. Grapevine. Here we go. Circle the hands. Good. Last time. Hamstring curls. For four. Three. Two. Knee lifts. March it forward, working a little harder now, rise up, reach, and back, good, reach, again, forward, and reach, and back, lunge to the left, breathing change, singles, upright row, four more, step tap across, Four more. Working those arms. Back straight, abs tight. Two more. Good. Double squat. And again, squat. Lunge. Double squat. March and tap. Number four. Two more. Back to the top last time. Great line. Good. Nearly there. One more. Hamstring curls. Four, three, two. Knee lifts. Four, three, two. March it forward. Rise up, arms up. Reach, come on, back. Rise up. And again, forward. And back. Good. Lunge to the left. 
Double squat, lunge, double squat, ready to march it out, and march, well done, are you ready for level B, we're going to increase the tempo and the intensity and work a little harder, Latin style, step forward and back, leading with the left foot, here we go, and for four, bend the knees for three, for two, change direction, take it across, for four, good, for three, Two, change feet, leading with the right, four, good, three, two, change direction, here we go, across, four, bend the knees, pull up, now change feet, add a small arm, for two, for one, change direction, for two, and together, good, and across, I'm going to add a bigger arm now, Take it up, take it across, feet together and change. March it out in place. March and tap the side and tap, good, and tap. New step coming up, step touch, down, touch. Add a shoulder shake, knee lifts, hand to foot or hand to knee, whichever you find comfortable. Let's try that again, here we go, for four, three, two, knee lift, for four, three, two, march it out, good. Another eight, back to the very top, step forward, take it across. Change feet, forward, and across. Step touch, shoulder shake. Knee lift, hand to foot. Four more, good. March it out in place. Keep breathing, another eight. March and tap to the side, good. Two more. New set, march it forward. Knee lift. March it out in place. March it back for four. Knee lift for two. March it out in place. Good. Now march it forward again. Knee lift. Lunge. Here we go. For four, three, two. Take it back. Knee lift. Lunge. Good. March it out. Another eight. March and tap to the side. Good. Back to the very top. Here we go. Take it across. Bend the knees a little more. Back straight. Change. Keep breathing. Cross. Step touch. Shoulder shake. Four more, more. Knee lift. Hand to foot or hand to knee. Four more. Now march it forward, new arm. March. Knee lift and lunge. Good. Take it back and march. Knee lift and lunge. March it out in place. Keep marching. March and tap the side. Two more. New step coming up. Great line to the left and tap. Tap together. Great line. Tap. Good. Now great line and plie. Knees over ankles, back straight. We're going to add an arm. Good. Strong arm. Two more. One more. Now 
tap and touch, here we go, tap together, tap and turn, bend the knees, pull up, let's add an arm, reach, reach, good, four more, back to grapevine, here we go, arms, again, grapevine, two more, grapevine, plie, good, tap, touch, now turn to four, bend the knees, pull up, add an arm. Come on, reach, good. Keep breathing. And march it out in place. Another eight. March and tap to the side. We're going back to the very, very top. Step forward and back. Here we go. Come on. Up. Pull up. Take it across. Feet together and up. And across. Step touch, shoulder shake for eight, seven, six, five, four more. Knee lift, hand to foot, back straight, knee top. March it forward now. Good. Forward. Knee lift. Lunge. Four, three, two. March it back. Knee lift. And lunge. Good. Great vine. Plie. Great vine. Plie. Good. Great vine. Plie. One more. Tap, touch together. Pull up. Tap. Add a turn, bend the knees. Add the arm. For eight, seven, six, five. Four more. Back to grapevine, here we go. Last time. Good. Two more. Tap, touch. Bend the knees. Arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out. Well done. Now we're ready to check our heart rate. Keep moving. Before we go on to level C, we need to check to see how hard we're working. Find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. Count the amount of beats in six seconds, starting now. Multiply that number by 10 to find your beats per minute and look at the chart. Find your age and check that you're working within your target zone. Remember, listen to your body and be sensible. Are you ready for level C? It's rock and roll time. Keep marching. One more set of eight. Feet together, knee bends. Here we go. Four more. Step clap forward. Up, up, and down. Good. Up, and down. One more set. Feet together, knee bend. For four. Two. Shadow step across. Back. Side. Front. Good. Side. Front. Across. Back. Side. Front, cross, back, side, double up, for four, drop the arms, for three, for two, for one, step hips, for eight, seven, six, five, four more, knee bends, here we go, four, three, two, let's try that again, shadow step, nice and slow, two more, off, pull up, double up, for four, for three, for two, good, step kicks, for eight, seven, six, five, four more, knee bends, four, three, new step, step knee lift, step knee lift, four, four, good, two more, singles, change direction, good, Two more. 
Shadow step across. Back. Good. One more. Now double up. Step kick. Four. Three. Two. Set knee lift. Back straight. Come on. Pull up. One more. Repeaters. Three. Two. One. And change. Three. Two. One. Knee bends. Step across and tap. You are. Good. Step, tap. Now double up and kick. Step, kick. Hip swings. No arms. Loosen up. Add the arms. Play again. Hip swings. Add the arms. Another eight. Level. I can't 
combination of all the routines we've learned so far, we'll be decreasing the intensity and slowing down a little. And I've also included some range of movement stretches in this section. Now march and tap in place. And tap. March, two, three, and tap. Play again. Two, three, and tap. Good. Four more sets in place. Two more sets. We're going to start with great vine to the left, circle the arms. For four. Three. Good. Last time, hamstring curls for four, three, two, knee lifts for four, good. Let's try that again, great line. Two more sets. Hamstring curls for four, three, two, knee lifts, good. Pull up, march it forward for four, rise up, two, and back. Rise up, pull up, abs tight, again, rise, and back, good, march and tap in place, and tap, and tap, two more sets in place, and then march and tap to the side, good, ready for Latin star, step forward, and back, good, now take it to the diagonal, across, Bend the knees, pull up, change feet, step forward, good, take it across, step touch, shoulder shake, keep it small, four more, ready for heel tap across, cross the arm, good, four more, let's try that again, step forward and back, take it across, pull up, Steady there, forward, take it across, step touch, shoulder shake, here we go, four more, heel tap, four more, good, march and tap in place, two more in place, now march and tap to the side, Four. Good three. Good. Two more. We're going to go back to the grapevine and plie. Grapevine, strong arms. Good. Grapevine, plie, strong arms. Another two. Grapevine, arms. Grapevine, arms. Now drop the arms. Grapevine, plie. Back straight. Plie over ankle. Two more. Grapevine. Last one, great find, plie, good, shadow step across, flow, nice and easy now, swing those arms, two more, step kick, no arms, here we go, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step touch, here we go. Four more. Ready to transfer weight. Here we go. Down and up. Good. Pull up. Shoulders relaxed. We're going to be going into some range of movement stretches. Another eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Ready to lunge side to side. Here we go. Lunge. Pull up. Knee over ankle. Breathing. Let's add an arm. Take it out. Cross. Out. Cross. Out. Hold it there. Other side, here we go. Out, cross, out, cross. One more, hold it there. Good, now side to side, both arms. Cross, out, cross, out, cross, out. Back to center, plie. The other ankles back straight. Keep that going. Now clasp the hands in front. Round the shoulders. Push away, stretch them through the upper back. One more. Now step, touch, breathe. Good. Foot behind, heel down. Feet parallel, lean forward. And rise up for four. Press it down. Press the heel down. One more. Lift the heel. Tilt the hip under. Good. Add the arm. Hip flexor stretch. Into hamstring stretch. Transfer weight. Flex the front foot. Take the weight forward. Upper body is erect. Good. Trap, roll up, round the back. 
march it out to wide position. Ready to step, touch to the right. Here we go. Step, touch. Feet behind. Good. Hold it down. Feet parallel. Arms down. Rise up. Press. Good. Press that heel down. Stretch it through the calf. Now lift the heel. Tommy's in. Tilt the hip. Add the arms. Up and down. Hamstring stretch. Transfer weight. Flex the foot. Weight slightly forward. Rub it away at the back. And roll up. Good. March it out to wide position. Ready to plie. Here we go. And up. Plie. Two more. Into side stretch over. Here we go. Over. Being ready to the side. Support yourself on your thigh. Only two points of comfortable stretch. Plie. For four. Cast your hands behind. Squeeze the shoulder base together. Stretch into the chest. And reach to the side. Good. Two more. March and tap in place. Good. Nice and easy now. Breathing. Nearly there. Four more. Three more. Now get your balance for quad stretch. Good. Feet together. Arm up. Draw the ankle to buttock. Knees close. Soft knees. Change feet, arm up, and hold. Soft knees, march it out. Good, last stretches, triceps. Place one hand between the shoulder blades, pull back on the upper arm. Change hands. Drop the arms, pull up, and march it out. Well done. Ready to step, touch, side to side. Now we must check our recovery heart rate. Find your pulse on your wrist or your neck. We start to count now. Multiply that number by 10 and check the chart. As a guideline, your recovery heart rate should be approximately 10% lower than before. Well done. Now you've completed the fat burner, we'll move on to tighten and tone. Beginners should attempt only as many repetitions as are comfortable and are not expected to do the whole section straight away. If your muscles start to ache or feel uncomfortable, you must stop and rest before moving on to the next exercise. As a beginner, remember to always work with the easier alternative and gradually increase your workload until you can cope with the whole section. The next set of exercises will strengthen and redefine the muscles of the bust, arms and upper back. And I've also included some complementary leg work in this section for the buttocks, hamstrings and thighs. Thank you, Wendy. Now, if you're worried that using hand weights will build large muscles, don't worry because they won't. We'll be using medium to high repetitions with light weights and correct form. Now, if you're using weights, you must make sure that you have a safe and secure base of support. Let's start with our feet slightly wider than hip width apart, knees relaxed, abdominals tight, buttocks tucked under, and lengthen the spine. Elbows should be relaxed and stabilize the wrists. As an easier alternative, Karen will be doing the upper body workout only without weights to practice her technique. Okay, let's start with bicep curls. Palms facing the front, elbows relaxed. I want you to draw the hands up towards the shoulders and down. Here we go. And relax. Good. Nice and strong. And again, four more. Keep the arms close to the body. Two more. We're going to add a plie. Here we go. Back straight. Abs tight. Good. Four more. Three more. Two. Now static for four. Keep the knees soft, nice and strong. Don't lock the elbows. Add a plie for four. For three. For two. One more. Good. Okay, now bring the feet in together. Slightly hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Palms in, extend the arms behind. And in. Good. 
good. Shoulders relaxed. Working the triceps. Back of the upper arm. So shoulders down. Two more. Now we're going to add a squat. Sit back with the weight over the heels. Here we go. Sit back. Good. Weight back. Upper body is erect. Shoulders over mid thigh. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. Now static for four. Here we go. For four. Elbows soft. Ready for the squat for four. And down. Good. Sit back. Good. Now bring the feet together. We're going to work the shoulders. Turns the palm to in. We're going to raise the hands to shoulder height and down. Up to the side, lateral arm raises and down, including a squat and a side leg lift. Here we go. And for four, for three, for two, one more. Add a squat, here we go, sit back, narrow squat, upper body erect, good, lateral arm raises for eight, seven, shoulders down, six, press, five, keep breathing, four more, three, two more, we're going to add a squat with front raises, squat, side leg lift, and lateral arm again. Good. Heel up to the ceiling. Two more. Toes and knees pointing forward on the side leg lift. Change feet. Squat. And lift. Good. Heel up. Abs tight. Two more. Good. One more. Alternate. Here we go. Sit back. Sit back, other side. Four more. Nearly there. Two more. Take a rest if you're getting tired. Last time. Good. And good. Feet apart now. Upright row, working the upper back. Palms in, arms down, elbows relaxed. Here we go. Pull up. Shoulders in line with the elbows. Good. Four more. Shoulder height. Two more. We're going to add a lunge to the left. Here we go. Near the ankle. Pull up. Back straight abs tight. Four more. Three. Two more. Static now for four. For three. Good. One more. And lunge. Four. Nearly there. Three. Two. One. Good. Okay, bring the feet in. Take one foot back. Feet parallel. Heels down. Support yourself with one hand on the thigh. The other hand should be in line with the knee. Palms facing in. Draw the hand up to the armpit. And down. Here we go. And. In. Single arm row, working the middle of the upper back. Squeezing the shoulder blade towards the spine. Good. Two more. Now double up the tempo. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the heel, palms up, and cross the arms. Working the chest. Squeeze. Palms up, thigh height. Ready to kneel, here we go. Kneel. Good. Squeeze. Heel down and double up the tempo. Cross. Good. Squeeze. Abs tight. Breathing. Four more. Three. Two. Good. Now change feet. Ready to move the whole thing on the other side. Palms in and lift. Good. Support yourself on the thigh. Abs Height, heels down at the back. Four more. Squeeze that shoulder blade towards the spine. Good. Now double up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the heel, palms up and cross. Good. 
across. Ready to kneel, here we go, kneel, back straight, squeeze, working the chest, low cross fly, good, now double up, here we go, one, two, three, four, press, four more, good, alright, now we're going to uh, put the weights down on the floor, bend the knees, Watch yourself, roll up. Step side to side and step, touch, good. Let's stretch out through the chest. Take the arms behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take the arms forward, round the shoulders, push forward. Stretching through the shoulders and upper back. Tricep stretch. Pull back on the upper arm. And change. Pull back on the upper arm. And relax down. Well done. Now we're ready for the floor work. If you'd like to get the mats, girls. The next set of exercises will strengthen and tone the abdominals, obliques and muscles of the lower back. They'll also help to improve your posture. If you'd like to watch me while I demonstrate the correct technique. Now sit down. Hold behind the thighs and roll slowly down the spine onto your back. Your knees and feet should be hip width apart, feet flat on the floor. Press your navel down towards the floor and flatten the abdominals. Relax the shoulders and support your head in your hands. Now contract the abdominals and lift your head and shoulders off the floor, keeping a gap between your chin and your chest. Breathe out as you lift and in as you lower and always keep your head and shoulders slightly off the floor. Now as an easier alternative, Karen will be supporting her head with one hand and having extra support by holding her thigh with the other hand and lifting and lowering. For a simple pelvic tilt, contract the abdominals, tilt the pelvis, keeping your lower back in contact with the floor and practice this movement on its own before adding it to the abdominal curls. Okay, if you'd like to roll down into the correct position, roll down the spine, flat backs, your knees and feet should be hip width apart. Take the hands behind the head, ready to lift up abdominal curls. Here we go. And lift up. Breathing out, good. Three more. Last time, now half time, lift up and up, down and down, up, up, good. Two more, up, up, down, last time, up, up, down, add the pelvic tilt, lift up and tilt, and come down, lift up and tilt, and come down. Up and tilt. Release. Last time. Back to the beginning. Singles and lift. And lift. Breathing out. Flat backs. Two more. Half time. Lift up. Up. Down and down. Up. Up. Time. Now add the pelvic tilt again and lift, squeeze and release. Good. Lift and tilt. Come down. Last time coming up. One more. Good. Knees in to chest and on the thigh and relax. A little rest. Now place the feet back onto the floor, hip width apart. Take one hand behind the head for support and reach with the other hand towards the ankle. Here we go. Just head and shoulders slightly off the floor. Reach. Work in the obliques. Three more. Two more. Last one. Change hands. Other side. Reach and reach. Good. 
Breathing out. Three more. Last time. Take both hands to the head, reach across to opposite knee. Lift and centre. Lift and centre. Good. Now Karen's still doing the easy alternative. Two more. Now lift opposite shoulder to raise knee and lift. Keeping that gap between the chin and the chest. Keep the elbows out to the side. Two more. Good. And relax. Now turn over into a prone position. Resting your head in the hands for lower back strength. Keep your hips and feet in contact with the floor. I want you to raise your head and shoulders up off the floor and lower. Here we go. And lift up. Karen is doing the easier alternative, supporting herself with both hands on the floor. Half time and lift, lift, down and down. Good. Two more. Your eye line should only be about 18 inches in front of you. Singles for eight. Seven. Four more. Last one. Half time. Up, up, down, down. Two more half time. If you want to take a rest there, that's fine. Otherwise, turn back onto your backs, roll down. We're going to go back to the top of the exercises. Abdominal curl, single lifts, flat backs, Ready to lift, here we go, and lift. Breathing, four more. Half time, lift up, up, down, and down, and up, up, good. Two more, up, lift. Last time, now add the pelvic tilt, here we go. And up, tilt, down and down. Up, tilt, down and down. Two more. Tiny movement with the tilt. Good, knees in. And relax a little bit, relax the shoulders. Let's go back to the obliques. Feet on the floor, hip width apart. Support the head with one hand. Ready to reach to the ankle. Six, seven, lift the head up and reach. Good, shoulders slightly off the floor. Three more. Good. Two. Change hands. Reach. Reach directly to the side. Three more. Last time. Hands to the head, reach across alternately and lift up. Keeping that gap between the chin and chest. Breathe out. Four more. Three more. Good. Now bring the knee in. Shoulder. Shoulder. Keep the elbows out to the side. Two more. Good. All right, last set now. Low back strength in the exercises. Roll onto the stomach. Ready to lift up. Here we go. And lift. Four more. Three more. Two. Half time lift. Finding it difficult, do the easier alternative like Karen. Two more. Up, up, down, down. 
singles. Here we go. Lift. Make sure that your neck is in line with your back. Two more. Half time. Nearly there. Two more. Well done. Relax. Bring the hands in. Pull up onto all fours. Knees below hips. Soft elbows and contract the abdominals. Stretching through the back. And sit up. Well done. And now for the final part of tighten and tone. Bottom hips and thighs. The first set of exercises concentrates on the hamstrings and gluteals. Let me demonstrate the correct technique with Wendy. On all fours, fist on fist, head in a thinking position. Make sure that your knees are in line with the hips. Contract the abdominals to support the lower back. Extend one leg out to the back. Flex the foot and keep the leg in line with the back. Now flex the knee and draw the ankle towards the buttocks and extend. And again. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Karen will be doing the easier alternative, fully supported in a prone position, keeping her hips in contact with the floor. If you'd like to get into the correct starting position, Fist on fist, contract the abs, extend the leg, flex the foot, here we go, and flex, extend, flex, extend, good, keeping those abdominals tight, now hold it there, ready to push the leg up, and up and down, good, squeeze, Straighten the leg, straight leg lifts for eight, seven, six, keeping the leg in line with the back, small movement. Last time, change legs, extend, flex, and in. Good. Abs tight. Push it up and lift. Drop. Good. Three, two, one. Extend the leg in line with the back and lift up and down. Good. Leading with the heel. Two more. onto your sides we're going to work the outer thigh find a comfortable position on your side body in a straight line extend the top leg heel up bend the bottom leg hand in front for support raise and lower the leg here we go lift and lower good and Karen is doing the easy alternative with both legs bent working with a shorter lever half time Lift up, up, good. Again. Make sure your toes and your knees are pointing forward. Singles, here we go. Make sure your body's in a straight line, abs are tight. Four more. Two more. Half time and lift up, up, down and down, up, up, down and down. Take the across, just relax a minute. Straighten the underneath leg, let's work the inner thigh. Body in a straight line, here we go. And lift, good. Four more. Leading with the heel, two more. Half time. Up, up, down and down. 
Up, up, down and down. Two more. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Back to singles. Here we go. Lift up. Take a rest if you need to. Four more. Three more. Half time. Lift up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Good. Now let's turn to the other side. Back to the outer thigh exercises. Bent leg underneath, top leg straight. Here we go. Raise the leg and lower. Leading with the heel, toes and knees pointing forward. Body should be in a straight line with the abs tight. Two more. Good. Half time and lift up, up, down, down. Again, lift. Singles, here we go for eight. Good. Four more. Heel up. Three. Two more. Half time and up, up, down. Again, last time. Good. Now take the knee across and just relax. Straighten the underneath leg, flex the foot. Ready for inner thigh. Here we go, sit up and lift. Good. Four more. One more. Half time. Up, up, down, down. Two more, half time. Last time. Good. Back to singles. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Last one. Half time. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Well done. Okay, now sit up slowly. It's time to stretch out all our muscles and relax a little bit. Now don't overstretch or bounce. Gradually ease into the stretch. You'll feel a slight build of tension and as the muscles relax and lengthen, the tension will decrease. Regular stretching improves your flexibility and helps you to relax. All right, now sit with feet crossed. Sit up straight, abs tight, back straight, shoulders relaxed. We're going to reach up out of the waist. And up. Good. Four more. One up. Now reach over to the side. Support yourself on the floor just to a point of comfortable stretch. Nice and easy. Let's try that again. Reach up. Four more. Over to the side. Reach over. Good, two more. Now circle the hands and reach up. The left hand. Good. Right. And change again. Up. Last time. Reach over to the side and hold it there. Pull out of the waist. Abs tight. Elbows soft. Open. Let's try that again. Reach up with the right. Side, hold it there, pull out of the waist. Good. Take one arm up, take it forward and across the body. Push back on the upper arm, stretching through the upper back and shoulders. Hold it there. Other arm, take it up and across. Push back. Back straight, pull up. Now open both arms. And relax down. Good. Open the chest again. Nice wide position and down. 
Now open the arms, take it all the way to the back, clasp the hands behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together, stretching through the chest and shoulders, and relax, good. Drop the head to one side, push away with the other hand, stretching through the neck. Back to centre, drop it over the other side, push away, and hold. Good, back to centre, soles of the feet together, hold the ankles, sit up, lean forward, press the knees down slightly, and sit up, good, now contract round the back, release it up, and contract, and sit up, now contract round the back and hold, don't drop the head too far, come up, good, now we're going to developmentally stretch the inner thigh. Take the legs to a wide position. If you find this position uncomfortable, try the easy alternative of one leg in, one leg out. Take the arms forward, flat back, lean forward. Hold it there and change legs. Good. Now come up, feet together. Take the hands behind, fingers facing forward. Ready to cross one leg over the knee. Take it over, knee out to the side. Push the knee down towards the floor, stretching through the buttocks. And change, good. Keep the elbows relaxed. Feet together, turn to the side. Roll down onto the floor, flat back, knees and feet hip width apart. Okay, now draw one leg in towards the chest, soft knees, hold the thigh and the ankle. Hold it there, stretching through the hamstrings, just to a point of comfortable stretch. And flex and point. And flex and point. Flex and point. Good, hold it there. Relax the shoulders. Feeling a stretch down the back of the leg. And change feet slowly. Draw the other leg in. Soft knees, hold the ankle and thigh. Just to a point of comfortable stretch. And flex. And point. And flex again. And point. Flex. Hold it there. Ease the leg back a little bit more. It, keep it still. Legs down, arms to the side, drop the knees over to one side, turn the head the other way. Rotate in the spine, keep the shoulders in contact with the floor. Change legs, slowly. Now roll over into a prone position. Resting your head in your hands. Ready to stretch through the quads. Draw one leg in, ankle to buttock. Press the pel look, pelvis down into the floor. Change legs. Now come up, onto the elbows, push up. Keep the head neutral. Stretching through the abdominals. Ready to pull back onto the haunches, drop down, pull back, and stand up, roll up, support yourself. Feet apart, knees soft, and plie. Breathe in, and out. One more, breathe in. Ready to lunge to the left, here we go. Out, cross, out. Cross. One more. Now hold it there. Turn to the side. Rise up. Press the heel down. Stretching through the calf. Hold it there. Lean forward. Abs tight. Good. Now lift the back heel. Tilt the hip under. Stretching through the hip flexors. Breathe in. Pull up. Back foot in. Slightly. Press both heels down. Stretching through the lower calf. Support yourself on your thigh. Back straight. Turn back to centre. Ready to lunge. Out. Out. Good. 
One more. Hold it there, turn to the side. Rise up, press the heel down. Now hold it there, feet parallel. Lift the heel up, tilt the hip under. Nice and slow, breathe in. Good, and out. Back foot in, sit low, back straight. Stretching through the lower calf. Now turn back to centre, feet apart. Plie again, breathe in, breathe out, and forward slightly, now contract and release, contract, roll all the way up, let's try that again, breathe in, breathe out, lean slightly forward, contract round the back, release, and roll up, and plie, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out. Two more times, breathe in. Last time, in. Remember, regular exercise in conjunction with a healthy eating plan is the best way to lose weight, improve your body shape and your health and fitness. Good luck.